Hi, I'm pretty excited today because this is my first video and it's about the first time that I participated of Character Design Challenge, which is an amazing contest. The theme of the month was Cormoran Fisherman and that was interesting for me because I didn't know them, so I had a great opportunity of learning about that part of Chinese culture. They basically train cormorants, which are big aquatic birds, to fish. And since they are usually elderly men, I was thinking about doing something like an old guy riding a giant cormorant. What I wanted the piece to be was like the midterm between the fantastic and the natural. So let's just cut the talking and let's jump right into the painting. So the first step is gathering some references. So for that I looked up for images on Pinterest and I don't know Tumblr maybe, but among a lot of nice pictures I chose those. And as the process goes you get how I use those pictures to give my painting a little bit of believability. Although the idea is pretty simple, it should feel rich and natural. That's why I started with a loose sketch of the bird and just some scribble lines to suggest the height of the fishman. And then I can add the details that will make it feel alive later in the process. One of the things that gave me headaches was the man's leg because I was not sure how would a man ride a giant bird. So I did it multiple times until it felt right to me. Now that the initial sketch is done, it's time to tidy it up and add some details. Besides the pipe, the headpiece and the basket, one of the assets that adds to the character is the fishing net on his back. It's inspired by a picture of a Scottish fisherman that I really digged in. Okay, we achieved that tight looking we are looking for the draw. Let's begin painting them. I start with a flat color that will make the silhouette more manageable. It's pretty simple, I not even separated 
both characters even though I probably should because then I could paint one without trespassing the borders of other Right now I'm adding some color and suggesting some light, but very loosely. For this piece, I wanted to go for a warm direct light and a cooler second source of light. A very common type of lighting. As soon as I started giving it some light, I went straight up to the face. It should feel like the central point of interest of the piece. It can look like it, but I'm not rendering right now, I'm just throwing some color and suggesting the basic lighting so I can get back later and render it all over again. If I went straight for the rendering, it would feel like scattered bits of information. But doing that way, I can make the piece look like a whole. At this point, it's pretty much done. Just a couple of touches and voila, that's it. But not too soon, 
I want to add some interest to the background. Although the background isn't related to the character lighting, I wanted it to feel more like it had some depth and giving it a little bit of lighting on the ground. And it feels pretty nice to me right now. So that's the looking of my entry for CDC of January 2020. And if you like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and ArtStation. Thank you guys and I'll be back eventually.